back to the RootBSD technology channel on YouTube, and also soon we will be on Odyssey. Hopefully, eventually. Uh, it's been taking forever to sync. I I swear I've done this. I did. I signed up for this like over a week ago, and I'm just kind of curious as to why it's taking so long. But uh, I don't know. I'll just keep keep checking back on it. But anyways, I just wanted to make a quick video today about updating OpenBSD. Now, the update utility in OpenBSD is called Sys Upgrade. And we'll take a look at its man page right here. Sys Upgrade. Upgrade the system to the next release or a new snapshot. Sys Upgrade is a utility to upgrade OpenBSD to the next release or, or a new snapshot if available. So what, if there's two types of flavors of OpenBSD. You can either run release, which is, which is the stable branch, or you can run current, which is the development branch. Now, running current, you have access to the most up-to-date software that's available in the port street. And you get um, the quickest access to all the security updates and new features and all the beta stuff. But uh, the downside is you might lose a little bit of stability. Um, sometimes things can be a little, can get a little wonky from time to time. Uh, not too bad though. You know, developers say that they're not allowed to really break things in development. So for the most part, it's kind of like running a rolling release like Arch or Gen 2. And uh, now stable is much slower, uh, like a, like a Debian kind of style. And um, and when I, and we when we say release, that first initial uh, re, uh, you know when the, when the when it when the tree is split, let's say in the CVS, you know that that uh, that tree is split, and you have that release, the uh, official release that's decided. It is just it's a snapshot, but they they set it up and it's good to go, and it they, that'll be the release for six months, and your packages won't get any updates for six months, but you will get security updates, and there are sometimes critical package updates that do occur in the, um, in the there is a stable package repo. Um, but yeah, so some people don't like the fact that they might have to wait, you know, five to six months to get an update for Chromium or Firefox, and it's not for everybody. Uh, probably better for the server. Actually, honestly, if you're going to use OpenBSC in the desktop, you're probably going to enjoy it better running current. Um, and we, what you can do is you can start out running a uh, uh, release and then you can you can always upgrade to current and actually you can just do that by typing sys upgrade minus s um, and sys, up, sys upgrade minus r will upgrade to the next release this is the default if the system is currently running a release so it'll stay this as a default but you can upgrade to a snapshot however once you upgrade to snapshot and you upgrade to current if you want to go back to, to uh, release or stable you're gonna have to do a complete reinstall okay and uh, and what I'll do is I'm going to videotape the uh, the uh, actual uh, upgrade process when it reboots and it does it from console. It'll reboot into a, a, a bsd.rd ram disk kernel. Okay. Um, and what I have here are this is my update script that I wrote. Uh, super simple. Um, and shout out to uh, Soline, an OpenBSD developer. She actually helped me. I'm not so smart to figure this all out on my own. She actually helped me to figure out this command and also the restore command. Uh, so shout out to Soline. She she rocks. And we'll, we'll definitely uh, I'll definitely promote her uh, her blog on here. Data Swamp. You can get great information from Data Swamp. Um, so what we do is uh, I set up this date variable right here. Uh, I mount my backup hard drive. Uh, which is assigned SD0C, and if you remember from our very first video, we, we figured out how to find out what drives are what on OpenBSD. And uh, we're going to mount it to mount 2, and then I'm going to remove the, the old backups uh, uh, dump, and we're going to use dump right here of my entire home drive using these flags, and uh, that's the standard output. Pipe it through gzip, which is piped through cat, concatenate to the standard output and that goes into the uh, the dub file and I have successfully tested it and it does work um, the only thing I mentioned about you know the in the openBSD commands video is that um, restore might have a pro will encounter a problem if it, if, if it as it's doing the dump when, when when the dump program was doing its dump if it encountered a file that was currently being written that might get garbled up so it's advised if you're gonna do this and, and and, you, and you're worried about maybe losing an important file, 
that you're currently writing, I'd recommend just to save any important files and kind of not mess with them while the dump is in progress. Um, that or, or maybe you know like do a do a dump, uh, you know maybe right after you get off work and you're going to shower first and you're going to eat and you're not going to get on the computer yet. That'd be the perfect time to do a dump or uh, you know or while you're at work. You know just we say you know I I, I advise you know because I that's what I encountered. That was the only like downside of. Of doing this when I when I restored my entire home directory onto the SSD when I migrated from the hard drive to the SSD. Um, okay, all right, and I think I believe it's this is set up in my fish shell uh, config.fish. So I just aliased in my fish shell to sh and then run the update script. So we're going to run it. And it's going to ask me for my super secret password. All right. So you can't see anything right now, but um, it's started the dump. And it'll start giving me an output of the dump, or the time, how much time it's going to take. And the dump is probably going to take well over an hour because my home drive is just full of stuff, <laughs> lots and lots of stuff. But, uh, probably I think at, at least like three hundred. Oh no, not three hundred. Like, like at least a hundred gigabytes of stuff. I'm sure, you know. But anyways, uh, we'll come back when the we'll come back when the dump is finished, and. Then we'll videotape the bare metal upgrade, and then we'll, we'll come back and discuss uh, discuss any other further relevant information. Okay. One hour later. Okay, so the dump finished. And we're gonna put in our super secret password. And now we are fetching the new OpenBSD snapshot. Okay, we're back. Um, everything has been completed. The system has been updated. We are running a new snapshot. All right. That is kernel revision 211. There we go. Everything looks nice and clean. And then what you would do next is you would update your packages. Do as package add minus u, super secret password. I'm not gonna wait for this, but you, I think you get the idea. Uh, we already updated our firmware. We're on a new snapshot. Um, that's it. Just update your packages, and you're good to go. Sometimes, uh, if you're running on current, um, if you don't update for a while, some packages won't install because they crank their libraries pretty fast. They'll say like bad major. So that just means you need to go through this process. Um, also, I wanted to also mention uh, restore. If you if if something did go wrong and you needed to restore the data that we dumped from uh, I, I dumped my whole home directory, go to this right here. Uh, cat, oh, I'm sorry, cat backup right, backup file. Pipe it through g unzip minus f minus c standard output. Pipe that through restore minus r minus f standard output. 
and that that works. That will restore your entire. I you know what I did when I did this is I had already installed and I had a new home directory, so I just created a backup directory. And you got to make sure you do this as user. Don't do this as root. And and um, I, I did the restore in that backup directory, and then I just manually copied over the all the files that I needed that I cared about, and then just got rid of the rest. So that's how I did it. Um, and I'm sure there's there's other maybe even probably more efficient ways to do backups, but this is a very open BSD way to do a backup because we're using base utilities. Um, and uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about was Syspatch for people that are using release or stable. Uh, there is a program called Syspatch. Syspatch. So type man Syspatch. Uh, Syspatch is a utility to fetch, verify, and install and revert OpenBSD binary patches. When run without any options, Syspatch will apply all missing patches. And what you can do go to openbsd.org, go to patches, and you can look up the errata and see what's going on. What, what's uh, just the most, so most recently they had a security fix for uh, Libra SSL. It was printing a certificate that can result in a crash. And uh, so you want to check this, keep an eye on it. Also, if you're, uh, if you're running current, let's see here. That's not what I want. Following current using snapshots. So this this uh, what this little page right here you can follow uh, if you're following current. And they'll tell you just kind of some different changes. You know, sometimes it's just like syntax changes or config changes, stuff like that. Uh, I don't even know what free radius is. <laughs> okay, and uh, yep, that's it. We have updated the system and everything's good to go. Um, Shout out to my sponsor, Retro Edge Tech, uh, at, over at Odyssey, uh, and uh, shout out to Matt's Medicine for providing us with some awesome music to listen to in the intro here. Uh, bring it up real quick. Ah, it's right here. Perfect. Yep. So the song we heard was Medicine, All Right Tonight. It's another track off the Elements EP. Free download. And he provides you an, a nice uh, 45 megabyte WAV file. So I, I love that. You know, the fact that he just he puts gives you the WAV file. Not even the MP3, just the raw WAV output. Well, that's all. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you guys get all your machines updated. And, uh, you know, just uh, keep track of that errata uh, list. And, uh... You know, uh, use this upgrade for up, uh, upgrading releases and uh, for upgrading snapshots. And use Syspatch if you're running release or the stable branch. And, uh, you know, stay safe out there. All right, goodbye.